I'm a big fan of smart home automation, especially around lighting. This adding little bits and pieces to make lives easier. But unfortunately living in a rented property, it means there's a very limited number of changes you can make. So what I've been working with are connected light bulbs, more than anything. They can just go straight into a light fitting and you control them from um, kind of Amazon Alexa, Google Home or a smart app. But the problem comes with the light switch. If you turn the light switch off, the light goes off and it can't be turned on again. So what I've done in this room here is put a blanking plate on and permanently wire the light on. And then I've stuck a light switch on the top. So this smart paddle light switch operates the lights in the room and it works really well. But it's very obvious what's going on here. You can see that this is a light switch stuck on the top of something else, which I really don't like. So what I've got is a momentary kind of button here, the same style that is on the wall around the rest of the property. And I've got a cheap little kind of internet connected um, uh, button, which works on the same system. And so what I'm gonna do is take the electronics from this and wire it into this, and hopefully have a light switch on the wall, which looks like it should be there, but controls the smart home lighting. I started this process by dismantling an existing button. This took a while to kind of work out how to get into it, uh, but eventually kind of I succeeded and didn't damage the control board in the process. The board inside used a button cell battery and a little kind of PCB switch. Both of these would need to be modified. And when I started by slowly kind of desoldering and prising off the existing micro switch, the wiring of these is fairly straightforward, so I knew I should be able to attach onto it without too much difficulty. When the switch was off, I was able to solder on a couple of wires onto the two main pads, which would kind of activate the switch. These wires can then kind of connect into the, um, the light switch just as normal and basically joining the contacts would trigger the button press. The connections to the PCB were not great in a few places, so I did use some hot glue just to secure those down to stop the wires pulling out. At various points throughout this process, I did stop and test everything just to make sure it was still working and I hadn't broken anything. Now, the button cell battery used part of the existing plastic housing to hold it in place, so I had to rework this. So I removed the existing kind of button connection points and thankfully I had a surface mount battery holder around for the same size of the battery. So I was able to solder and kind of glue this in place without too much difficulty. The control board's not going to get knocked around or damaged in the wall box. So I just used a bit of hot glue just to kind of tack it to the back, just so it, um, everything kind of held together. So with the switch wired in and the battery in place, I was able to give it a proper test and uh, thankfully it still kind of functioned. I then had to remove the existing switch from the wall, which took a little bit of effort as it used uh, very, very tough sticky pads, but I was eventually able to kind of prise it off, at which point I could remove the old kind of blanking faceplate and carefully kind of screw the new light switch back into place. So this was a really simple project, but it's one that's taken a useful but very obvious piece of technology and blended it back into the home in a hopefully fairly seamless way.